Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is Preeti here and we are going to see an interesting case study of Malden Mills industry. So what's a lesson learned from Aaron Fiorestein, who is the CEO of Malden Mills company? Sometimes doing the right thing is more important than profits that we earn in the business. Coming to the history of Malden Mills industry. Malden Mills was founded in the year 1906 in Lawrence Mascotis by Henry Furestein and they have started with a specialization in lightweight fabrics and wool clothing. The industrial accident took place on December 11th at 8pm 1995 where a boiler exploded in one of their mill buildings and created a complete scene of utter devastation. So what happened after the incident? The production was halted and the employees assumed that they would be out of their work until the factory was rebuilt and the insurance plan were going to be stopped. This is a picture I have shown where Malden Mills looked like before the accident and after the fire accident. So now we are going to involve ourselves in this Malden Mills industry. Imagine yourself that you are CEO of Malden Mills industry now. So what is your next move in overcoming the losses of materials and property? So if I have an insurance, then maybe I can claim for the insurance. Second, what are your plans and time constraints you will decide if planning to rebuild it? If suppose I want to rebuild my company, then I have to say how long it takes to rebuild my company and what are my financial plans? How are you going to handle the employee concerns? So employees have a lot of concerns like they may lose their jobs or they're going to pay off for the lockdown period for reconstruction, etc. So how are you going to handle it? Do you think Aaron Furiston did the right thing? Let's see. So what are the decisions made by CEO Aaron after the fire accident? He decided to rebuild the factory in the same place Lord Musket is in US and he announced a full pay for 90 days for the employees and insurance benefits that is health insurance for 180 days for the employees which all together worth $25 million. Though he had a lot of losses, material and property losses due to the fire accident and he needs a lot of investment for the reconstruction, he was just being loyal to the employees. When he reopened the factory in the late 1996, the productivity reached a new high with 40% of more business sales and 95% customer and employee retention of the company. So Aaron Furistin was considered as the moral hero of that period. Well, the rest of the story is, do you guess what happened after he reconstructed the company? Let's see. Oh, the future of Malden Mills. He fully reopened in the late 1996, which is worth $50 million of reconstruction cost. He was forced into bankruptcy in the year 2001 and the second time in the year 2007 when he saw the company sold to Boston-based Jordan Brothers Group for $44 million and had its name changed to Polar Tech. He just lost control of his three-generation family firm company a decade later, that is in the, that is in the year 2007. He is Mr. Aaron Furistin. He told that the business must be profitable, but at the same time, the business must have the responsibility for its workers, for the community and the environment. The lessons learned from this case study. Number one, Aaron is very loyal to his employees by paying during the lockdown period of their company for reconstruction. Second, due to the market situations which was prevailing after 1996, he could not withstand where he had a lot of reconstruction cost and he could not pay for the creditors. So it went for bankruptcy. Now I'm comparing this case study with the current COVID-19 situation where many migrants, contractors has lost their jobs and more private employees was unsure of whether they are going to resume to their jobs after lockdown or layoffs will be there or they're going to fire the employees or they're going to pay for their lockdown period. So nobody is sure of anything which is happening now. Of 200 CE was surveyed, 52 foresee the job losses in their sectors, where 47% expect job cuts to be less than 15%, but a worryingly high 32% of CEOs expect a loss of 15 to 30% of jobs. 
employees job status after covid-19 lockdown in india modi asked indian firms to be very kind amid the lockdown but many workers have not been paid for their wages the employers argue that the stocks were in the inventory and the customers are not ready to buy it so they don't get any profits while the details are argued in the court between the government trade unions and companies millions of workers are in the danger of slipping into deeper poverty with the sudden disappearance of the wages it's a very pathetic situation or very critical situation that almost all the countries who got affected with covid-19 faces do you have a better solution for this problem which favors both the employers and the employees if you have solution just put it in the comment box and i'm happy to read it for more interesting videos please watch this channel ugc net mb aspirants thank you